The poem Upagupta is a narrative poem written by Rabindranath Tagore. Upagupta was a disciple of Gautam Buddh and this poem narrates an incident of his life. Rabindranath Tagore was born in 1861 and died in 1941. His contribution in placing modern India on the world literary scene was immense. He was a poet, dramatist, short story writer, educationist, novelist, philosopher and above all a nation builder. He wrote primarily in Bengali and also translated number of his own works into English. Poem opens with Upa Gupta, the disciple of Gautam Buddh, sleeping on the ground in dust in a city called Mathura in the month of August. All around it is pitch dark as it is night time. Lights and lamps have been switched off and doors are shut. In this dark night, oblivious of who was sleeping, a beautiful young woman wearing anklets happened to accidentally trip upon Upa Gupta and her hand touched his chest. This startled and shocked him. He awoke with a gasp and saw before him a woman holding the lamp. And the light of the lamp shone on his forgiving, compassionate, merciful eyes. In that light, he saw that she was a dancer who had worn jewellery and a pale blue mantle, a dress. She seemed to be soaking in her beauty and was drunk with the wine of her youth. Even the girl, when she lowered her lamp, noticed that the man was young and austerely beautiful. She asked for forgiveness and graciously invited him to come to her house. She stated that the dusty earth was not a fit bed for him. However, Upa Gupta gently refused, but promised to meet her when the time was ripe and right. Against the backdrop of this incident, even nature took its course as the dark night abruptly seemed to show its teeth in a lightning-like flash. From the corner of the sky, a violent storm created an uproar and growled. The woman shook with fear and terror of an unknown danger. The poet simply takes the readers almost a year ahead with a flash and hints at how the time passed. The first incident becomes a threshold for the next incident to unfold with the passing of time. The season changes from monsoon to spring. The second part of the poem shifts from August to the month of April. The readers are informed of an evening of a day in spring season. The trees are in full bloom. The cheerful, happy, melodious tunes of a flute spring from the warm, breezy air. On the other side, the town is silent, as the citizens have gone to the forest to celebrate the festival of flowers. Full moon is adoring the sky. The description of nature here acts as a forerunner to the coming incident. Against this backdrop, the readers are again informed of the young ascetic who is walking all alone along the empty lonely street. His only companion was the lovesick coil who seemed to be lamenting from the mango branches. Upa Gupta entered the city through the gates and stopped at the base of the defending city walls. It was at this very moment that he unexpectedly found someone lying at his feet in the shadow of the mango grove. He was taken aback. He wondered if that person was a woman. He went near and found that she was afflicted with black epidemic disease and her body was fully covered with sores of smallpox. She had been thrown out of the city as she could transmit the disease and the poisonous contagion to others. Upa Gupta sat by the side of the woman 
and placed her forehead on his knees he gave her water and applied sandalwood paste to her body as a balm the woman was deeply touched and asked upagupta as to who he was she called him the merciful one upagupta with all his gentleness reminded her that the moment has finally come to visit her the time is ripe and right this poem depicts renunciation sympathy forgiveness and kindness it also delves into a deeper theme of outer physical beauty versus inner beauty though the woman has outer beauty but upagupta with his kindness and virtues establishes a higher theme of spiritual truth upagupta's selflessness establishes buddha's teachings and the dancing girl historically is none other than vasavdatta this poem reflects and delves deep into the importance of virtues values and selflessness as against the impermanence of sensual pleasures it establishes the truth that the most important thing is how you make other person feel